So we'd like to find the sum of the interior angles of a convex n-sided polygon, that is a polygon with n sides where n is some integer that we haven't specified. Now an n-sided polygon also has n vertices or corners. I've labeled these starting with 1, 2, 3, and then there are a number here since we don't know n, we don't know how many more there are, and that's what this dotted line signifies. But the last four are n minus 3, n minus 2, n minus 1, and n. So, for example, if n would be 8, this would be number 7, this would be 6, and this would be 5. But since we don't know n, we'll label them like this instead. So the first thing we're going to do is to draw line segments from the vertex n to all the other, other vertices, except 1 and n minus 1 that are already connected. So, like this. Now this cuts the n gone into n minus 2 triangles. If you can't see this, we can refer to them like this. Triangle 1, n2, triangle 2, n3, triangle 3, n4, and so on, and then an indeterminate number of additional triangles. And finally, triangle n minus 3, n, n minus 2, and the last one, n minus 2, n, n minus 1. So you can see, since the first one was 1 and 2, and the last one is n minus 2 and n minus 1. Clearly, there are n minus 2 triangles here. Now, the sum of the interior angles of this n gon is the sum of the interior angles of the triangles. Hence, the sum of the interior angles is n minus 2 times 180 degrees, because each triangle has an internal angle sum of 180 degrees. Now one thing I forgot to mention was why it has to be convex for argument to hold. Well, let me show you. Suppose we were to move point vertex number 1 inside this way so it's no longer convex. Then the line that we draw here from n to 2 is going to go outside of the borders of the polygon and our argument no longer holds. It's possible to prove this result even for a polygon that is not convex, but it's much more involved, and we're just going to be satisfied with this simple proof, so we'll limit ourselves to convex polygons.